So guys, Thor director Taika Waititi said in an interview recently that Stranger Things has ruined Kate Bush's running up that hill, but he kind of is saying that kids are ruin kids. Younger people are <laughs> ruining this music. Agreed? Oh. I just got that song out of my head. I just <laughs> got that song out of my head and I come here and it's on. Um, <laughs> I think that music should be, you know, shared and not protected, promoted and not protected. Yeah. yeah. You know, I work on Virgin Radio on, on Virgin Mornings. You know, if I, I love Drake, for example, I love his music. We are playing some of his more digestible tracks, that's for sure. But I don't get upset when people are enjoying Drake and only know, you know, hotline bling rather than his deep cuts. I, I want them to learn more about Drake and his music. And I want, you know, people to learn more about some of my favorite artists, but I'm not mad when they aren't knowing the entire entirety yeah. of their catalog. And I think that, yeah, it's an art form. It should be shared, it should be enjoyed, it should be enjoyed collectively. Uh, and that song is just too good not, just to keep to one niche you know, genre, generation, generation sure. and, and, and demo. So yeah, I think that music should be explored. Do you have and a shared. favorite artist that you're protective of? Like, so you that's know. Uh, David Bowie, for example. Okay. I love, <laughs> yes, I absolutely, David Bowie, one of my favorites. And I do get a little pang, like a little, a little bit of hurt okay. when somebody's like, I love that, you know, dance song or let's dance or whatever it's called. I'm like, you don't know that that was Ziggy Stardust. Let me tell you about yeah. him. Let me educate you. Yeah. Um, but I, I I, promote that or I, you know, I, I suggest lightly that they listen to more of his catalog, but I don't get upset when they haven't heard it all. And I, I don't want to take that away from the next generation. I, I think that it should be shared. I think that it should be enjoyed collectively. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little bit, uh, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. You're really nice, Jax. <laughs> snob. Okay, I, go, I was away with my husband recently. We were in New York City and we were at a club um, and we were clearly the oldest people at the club. But um, they put on the retro part of the night and there was a lot of like old school Madonna. Like oh, yeah. I'm talking 80s Madonna. Okay, those who know, know. So 80s Madonna and then they moved into a little bit of Spice Girls and they wow. moved in even <laughs> to yeah. And then they moved into the Britney and there was this group of gorgeous young women next to us and they were kind of mouthing the words, but here I was like, <laughs> I know yeah. all the words. <laughs> uh, just watch and learn. Yeah. And I did get a little bit, um, I don't know if protective is the word, but I definitely was like, I lived the era. You're pretending because it's a trend. Yes. That's so yes. cute. Wow. You don't know. But I yes. lived yeah. Madonna. Wow. Like I lived Madonna. So I did get kind of weirded out. And Ryan's like, why are you singing every word at the top of your <laughs> You're lungs? that girl. Let the people know. Because I'm My letting song. the people yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I, well, I mean, I wonder if Taika was joking. I think he had to be. Yeah, yeah. Like, sure. I mean, yeah. cause he just, I don't know. Did any of you see the new Thor movie this weekend? Like if you've seen it, there's Guns N' Roses all yes, over yes, the yep, movie. Yep. And there are gonna be a lot of new people listening to Guns N' Roses. I would flip that though. Like instead of being like, I was there, you weren't. I would, like, Yasik does this thing with a band probably none of you listen to, a brand called Radiohead, okay? So yes. Yasik went yes, to see, Radiohead. yeah? Okay. Yes. Yasik went to see Radiohead, I don't know, like 1993, right after the bands came out at a place called the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver, population or seats 1,000. That is the way to see a band. And so when people say, oh, Radiohead is so good now, he has a bragging right story. He yeah. can be like, I know, they're so good. And you know what? I saw them at the Commodore Ballroom in 19 whatever, and the Benz had just came out, and you won't get to experience that. I'm so sorry, but welcome to the club. <laughs> oh, I like that, right? I like that a lot. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, like, do it that That's way, smart. because then it's like you have something they will never have. Radiohead yeah. at the Commodore Ballroom, oh my god. A rarity, yeah. absolutely, yeah. It's a curious thing, because I think that music is so much steeped in our own histories. That's why you end up feeling protective because it's sort of like you are remembering your life through this music, whereas the person like who just virgin, discovered it- Maybe like, like a, a virgin. virgin. <laughs> yeah, the person who just discovered it is just kind of like enjoying it. I, just the other day, someone was going down the street listening to Running Up That Hill. It was a guy listening to it at full blast. And oh, I was yeah. just like, I, I was just like, this is a curious thing <laughs> yeah, to see, yeah. just the impact that it's having. But I agree that, that it does stir up a whole bunch of kind of emotions and I'm gonna use that. Yeah. Because like I, for me recently, it was Anderson Pack. Like my, I've been listening to Anderson Pack for a long time, and it feels like everyone just discovered him because he partnered with Bruno Mars. And I went to see him at a, at a small concert in Toronto <laughs> a couple years ago. And so now, thank you. I'm going to take that. I'm there you go. Yeah. Right. And while we're on Kate, yeah. Kate Bush, if you're all into running up that hill, like the, I think the best song is this woman's work. Yeah. Go listen to this woman's work. Yeah. Yeah.